Good. Yeah, buddy. How you doing? I'm good. Just, just taking a bong hit. I'm looking at it. I'm wondering, like, am I able? Am I allowed to? Like, I think you should. I think you should. Okay, let me get. It. I don't think we can start until you do. Really, <laughs> this is just going to be five questions with some friends I know in the industry, uh, and then we're gonna, you know. We're going to try to get some quick insight into what makes this industry tick. And I think now is an interesting time uh, to talk to people because I think the industry is going to shift, whether it likes it or not, uh, into a, a new direction. So, And, and uh, we just shoot the shit. No stress. It's magic. I, I, I wouldn't expect anything less. No, no, so. no. So we, we got Sam Lancaster in the building. Uh, Township is a management company and a label, correct? Uh, and now newly a publishing company and now a publishing company you're diversifying. Okay. And first thing I want to get is how long have, ha, has township existed? Um, in my, in my brain and heart forever. Good answer. Um, good answer. <laughs> as, um, as a person trying to figure it out, probably 10 years a guy with an LLC, <laughs> seven years, and in reality, four years. I love it. That's the best answer I could have ever gotten, to be honest. And so you're just, you came into it as a music lover, obviously, and I Correct. know you well, so I know you are a music lover. Um, and what was the first official business township ever did? Um, I... I discovered, and, and it's funny, some um, just actually posted about it today. It's this big conversation in the Bay Area, top um, Bay Area rap song, top 20 Bay Area rap songs ever. Um, I found and discovered this kid out of Oakland, where I'm from, who had this record um, that I just was kind of buzzing. I just knew had legs and tracked him down and and, and convinced him that, um, you know, b bullshitted a bunch of shit of what I was supposedly doing and <laughs> convinced him to, to let me, um, to let me manage him. And, but then he needed some money. So I went to my, um, more wealthy best friend and borrowed $2,500. And, um, we broke that record. It was in the Bay Area. It's like a staple now. It's like the Warriors theme song. <laughs> the Warriors and the Raiders game. And, um, and if yeah. you if you break something in the Bay Area, it sticks forever, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, there's just a uh, you know this ecosystem there that um, that shows love to its own, right? Yeah, and, you know anybody that's there who works who is an artist trying to make it out of the Bay Area, they all they all would say like, man, we that's the problem. No one shows love in you know in Atlanta, and da, da. but it's like the reality is, um, you know, the guys that do it right, you end up realizing you had to. 10 year career making music where the guy in Hollywood or Atlanta who had all the support, it was 18 months. So like, I don't know. I'd rather have 10 years. Yeah. I mean, Bay area just bounces different. Okay. On it. That's awesome. So that was your first ever foray into the music business. Yeah. His name was Vel and the song is called I'm really from Oakland. Real right down to the title, right down to the title. Okay, dope. And then I know you obviously. But we started working together on on Young Pinch. Uh, Correct. And, and how did you find Young Pinch? Tell me the story. Um, Young Pinch was a standard township find, which is you know two, three in the morning, many, many bong rips in <laughs> and um, on the internet, and I like stumbled upon this video. Um, that was like just in my head, just so corny. And it was um, the, the, these two little white kids and then this older <laughs> with a bunch of tattoos. And it was this group called the Blunnington Beach Boys. Um, and I was like, wow, this is terrible. And the, the like <laughs> the one kid, the one kid had like a brand new steel, still peeling 405 tattoo on his neck <laughs> and, and, and a fake chain on. And the younger, the littler kid had like the, I just hit puberty mustache and cornrows. And there was like a porn star who I've like, not uh, personally know, but from her work I know, like in the video, like 30 years old. I'm like, what the fuck is it? So I like sent out an email. Uh, at this point in life, I was just like still 
you know, interning and hustling and throwing shows and trying to figure it out. Um, and sent an email to all my buddies. Hip hop has fully been gentrified. <laughs> like it's 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 over. Like dot dot dot. But tell me the, the little kid can't kind of rap. And like everyone kind of hit me back. Like yeah, the kid can really spit. But like this shit is horrible. So that was kind of the end of that. Flash forward like maybe six months, and a buddy of mine who's older brothers of the company and his partner's younger brother gets made music and. He wanted to take him by a recording studio. So, of course, he brought him by my recording studio. And the kid walks in. And I'm like, I feel like I know you from somewhere. He's like, oh, you don't know me. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, are you in a group? He's like, oh, I was in a group. But like, it broke up. I'm like, yeah, that 405 tattoo looks really fucking familiar. <laughs> um, and that was now known um, Maddox, the producer of Pinch, who was in a, the group with Pinch. Um, and I was like, yeah, man, if you, if you bring, where's the kid at? Oh, he's like at his grandma's house in Huntington Beach. Like, we're from Huntington Beach. Um, he's still in high school. Da, 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 da. But I'm trying to, like, be a songwriter, be a producer. I'm like, cool. If you bring the kid back up here, I'll let you get some free studio time. So Pinch came back up, and I met Pinch. And I was I signed and found these producers right before that. Just get Big Head and G Neils, who went on to do Gucci Gang for a uh, little, whatever his name is, Pump and shit. But, um... <laughs> And the first first night ever, they cut Yo, Yo, Yo and something else. And I was like, oh, this kid is... And, and I was trying to figure out how to break into the industry after leaving the label system. So, like... It all fell into play. So, yeah. So, that was, that was weirdly crazy enough how that kind of all happened. 